What's up, YouTube? Just made a quick video here. I stopped by the uh, Pittsburgh uh, Record Convention. It was Saturday this past weekend. And they have three a year, and it's in a really small fireman's hall. It's not a big building. I saw one on uh, YouTube, a couple actually, from Austin Record Show. The fucking thing was huge. It's probably four or five times the size of Pittsburgh. At least. Pittsburgh is a small one. So I went up there not expecting to buy a lot. I figured it would be, uh, you know, really expensive. But actually, I got really good deals on the six records I did buy. And before I get into it, I also look for, like, rare albums. Because I go for, you know, collection value over just pure if I like something a lot. And the one album I do have is one of my most expensive single albums is Balance, the U.S. version. Some guy had it there for $250, which is about fair price. And I didn't see any other ones over 100 And what I also didn't see, but I didn't look through everybody. I looked through most of them. But I, you know, I closed at four. I got there at one, so I didn't have a lot of time to, like, look through shit, uh, you know, each table. Um, but I didn't see a lot of heavy metal. Like, what I was to, like, hair metal, stuff like that. Yeah, like, what I'm playing now. I'll get to you in a second, docking. Stuff like that, yeah, it was there. And the cl uh, classic classic rock, um, you know, jazz. There's a lot of jazz. I don't know how people like jazz, but hey, to the, each their own. But there was no, like, thrash. I saw maybe a couple reissues, but no thrash, no heavy metal. Of course, there was Sabbath, there was Priest, there was Maiden, classic stuff. But no heavy thrash, death metal, black metal, none of that. So if you were into that stuff, wouldn't be your thing. So starting out, I'm going to show two records I bought for forty dollars a piece, or total. And I'm like, I can't beat this. Original pressing. Look at this. Twenty dollars. Long Cold Winter, which I haven't bought yet for some reason. Twenty bucks. It's not like an American. It's Canadian pressing. It's still good because Canadian pressings are just as good. <clears throat> it might not be worth as much as the U.S. or Japanese or European, but fuck, for twenty bucks, couldn't beat it. He had twenty-five, twenty. I combined it with this, this is maybe a $30 record in this style, but with shipping, it's $20 to $30, it's not expensive because it's classic rock, but it's, you can tune a piano, but you can't tune a fish, which is my favorite uh, REO Speedwagon album, and I should do an REO ranking, I don't have very many albums by them, but I don't know, I, I should do other something other than you know metal, maybe I could do classic rock or even new wave, let me know, I don't have very many new wave records, but um, this, if you buy this online, the chances are it's going to come from Japan and cost you $20 alone on shipping. The record's probably like $15, $20 record, but if you buy it without ship online, it's going to cost you more. So it's a good deal for both of those for 40 bucks. Couldn't pass it up. And I always wanted this album on vinyl. And, tooth and nail. Japanese press, the guy had it, 30 And what I did was, I, 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 um, bullshit around a lot and I didn't buy anything until they were getting ready to pack up because they want to get rid of shit. So, 20 bucks. Japanese pressing. Once again, $20 to ship it, most likely. And, you know, Tooth and Nail, classic album. It's not an expensive record, but a Japanese pressing, great condition. 20 bucks, original. Couldn't beat it. And, like I said, it's a classic. These next three I'll show you. Um, I got them all under $100 total, and they're worth probably at least $150 total, at least. Well, maybe, it's more, it'd probably be at least $130. Anyway, first up, U.S. Pressing Original, RCA Club uh, version. I didn't have it on vinyl, as I just made the video of Rush. <clears throat> Since I was wearing my Rush shirt at the show, it was a good talking point, I'm like, Wow, he had it for 25 I'll get to that in a minute. Which is still a good deal, because I've seen other copies that were more beat up at the show for like 40 bucks. The next two I wasn't planning on getting, because I'm not a soundtrack guy, but... Seal, original, Day of the Dead, 1985 soundtrack. I got this because it's sealed, for one. And the same guy had all three of these. And they're doing the this, um, Living Dead next year, is going to do... 40th anniversary of Day of the Dead because it was still in Pittsburgh, partly, that in Florida. 
and it's sealed, and I'll just get it signed, which, I mean, fuck, you can't really beat that. He had it for 45 but, like I said, I get to it. I wasn't going to get this last one, but the same guy had this one, and I got it purely on just because I'm a fan of the movie. I don't really like, I like some of the songs, but a lot of it's by artists I can care less about, and that's the original Fast Times with my high soundtrack. You know, that, Somebody's Baby's awesome. I love that song. You know, it has, like, other stuff, like... Stevie Nicks, Quarter Flash, One Quarter Boingo, you know, not really my stuff, Billy Squire, The Ravens, Bring Me on the Radio, that's a cool song. So I figured why not, and he had 35, 45 sealed, and 25, but I got him for 90 bucks, and the seal one, the seal one alone on Discogs is just like 55, 60 bucks, so, like I said, I got great deals, and, you know, that's what you do, you go... If you go early, you might be able to get what you want if you're looking for something. Pittsburgh will probably have the same shit there if you go late because it's a small, wasn't a very big crowd. But like Austin, I'm sure you have to get there early if you want something you're looking for. But you wait around, bullshit, look around them each vendor, and then right when they're leaving, packing up shit, and that's when you buy. It sounds bad, but I mean, they're always willing to deal. So that's the six records I got. So couldn't beat it for those prices. If I would have bought each one online, probably would have been 200 bucks total, at least. Maybe more. Like I said, that seal one alone is like 60 bucks right now. And the, uh, probably over close to 300 because I looked at the, just before I made this video, I looked at the Long Call Winter, two, the two on eBay from Canada Pressings. They're like 75 bucks a piece. With shipping. I don't know if they were worth shipping or not, but I just noticed the 75 bucks. So, yeah, 20. I <laughs> can't beat that. And that, that one guy that had the Japanese in Long Cold Winter, he had a lot of good metal. Um, but I, I kind of lost track where they all were because, you know, they, he had so many. I saw Crocus Heart Attack for 10 bucks. I wanted to get that, but I couldn't find it before he was leaving. Um, and he had the Bullet Boys first album. I'm not a big fan of them, but 65 bucks, Decent price. Pretty good. It goes for more now online. But those are the ones I got because I didn't have a lot of money. If I had more money, I would have bought more, but... I think I like what I got. Let me know what you think of these uh, scores and if you're planning on going to any record conventions where you live or record stores. But conventions are cool because they have everything. And, you know, they always, unlike stores, a lot of times if you go, they'll just bargain with you, especially at the end of the day, and they'll give it to you for a deal. And there was a lot of deals there. Um, so, yeah, I couldn't really beat it. I, I think... I, they had a, the guy also had a lot of Kiss uh, Japanese pressings, and of course they were like 60, 80, 100 bucks, but because it's Kiss. But like I said, I'm on a budget. I don't have a lot of money. I thought I did pretty well, and I might go to the one in November. We'll see. Probably not, because I plan on traveling if I can. We'll see. But if I'm here, I'll I might check it out. So let me know what you think of the scores I got. Did you get any records from any record conventions? Um, put them in the comments below. Like I said. Uh, please subscribe. It always helps. Uh, put a video here at the bottom, and I'll see you soon. Facebook, you see Facebook every fucking time because I'm used to talking to people on Facebook, on YouTube. So, as always, rock on, never stop, and let me know if you want me to do any other type of music. Like I said, like classic rock. Uh, I'm Journey. That's one of my favorite bands. Could do them. Um, yeah. Peace.